Okay. This uh, recording is about how to use a layer mask. All right, I'm gonna. I'm in Photoshop. I'm gonna go to File, Open. I'm gonna bring this picture in. All right. Picture of Kelly running, but uh, a lot of things uh, in the picture that we don't want in the picture. First thing we're gonna do. We we're going to duplicate the layer. You see the layer over here? We're going to uh, make another layer, a duplicate layer. And you do that by going Control J. You'll remember that. You'll use Control J many, many times. So, Control J. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. That's just about the right amount, but you could, over here, it happens to be in another screen, I'll bring it over here, but here, you could move the slider to make less, or you can't see nothing, or, that's about what we wanted. This is just to show you how to lose a layer mask, so we don't even care about it. We just say, okay, that's it. But now, that's what we've done to that layer. That's what we've done. Now, what we want to do is put a layer mask, and that's the purpose of this of this tutorial is to teach you what a layer mask is. So now, if we here's the symbol down here, down here at the bottom. I'm going down to the bottom. See it down in this corner, next to the one next to F F X. Where's my? Unfortunately, why? Uh, Unfortunately, my uh, it happens to be on the other uh, screen, which makes it difficult for me a little bit. The screens are numbered different. This is number one. The other one's number two. This one's harder to get at, but that's where it's located. I finally struggled through that. Okay. Add a layer mask. If we add it, we click on add a layer mask. This is on here. And it comes up, it's white. It has accomplished nothing. We need it to be black. Because black conceals and white reveals. So clicking on that down here in the bottom, that next to FX, didn't accomplish anything with the mask, with the that layer. So we're going to take that and get rid of it. I only did it to show you what it was. I'm going to get rid of it. It popped up on my other screen. I'll bring this over to show you what popped up. And we're going to say delete. So now it's gone. But this time when we're going to do it, we're going to do one thing. We're going to hold down our Alt key on Windows while clicking on it. So I'm holding the Alt key, and now I click on it. And when it comes up, it comes up a layer mask, but it now it's black. And like I said, black conceals. So really, the blur is gone. But here's the catch. And you're going to use this thing many times in Photoshop in different ways. A layer mask. Now, if we paint on this layer mask with white. So let's go over here and get a brush. Right here. I went over to the left-hand side. Then the strip on the left-hand side. And I click on that. And I Choose the brush tool and bring it over here. See, there's this. I'm putting it right around Kelly's face there. And if I make use the bracket keys, I can make it bigger or smaller. For some reason, I did that. I don't want to be concerned with that in, while I'm in, making a tutorial. But now I'm I'm. See over here, I'm going to be painting with white. We don't want to paint with black. We want white in the foreground color. When they paint, you see, here comes all that blur back. Let's 
So now if you glance over at this, over here at the layer mask, you see, we painted those white and that put the blur back into it. And that's it. Let me see if I can, for some reason, yeah, I can do it now. I can make it smaller now. So I want to paint it in here between her arms. And watch even here on the layer mask, when I paint between the arms, you'll see it go in there. Watch. I'm not doing a good job, but there you've seen it even pop up here in the arms and all. So now if we turn the layer mask on and off, here's what we, with this eyeball, there was the picture, here's the picture now. Just by putting a blur on it, on the layer, and then adding a layer mask, a layer mask that was filled with black by holding down the Alt key while we clicked on this on this uh, icon down here at the bottom. That's next to FX. Hold the Alt key. It'll be filled with black. Then paint with white. I'm going to paint a brush. Make sure the, the foreground color that you're painting with white. Paint it. You got it. Now, what I would do yet with it is, before you finish up, I would hit here, just above the the uh, the layers, and go down a flatten image. Now we only got one thing; we've done it to it. And then, when you go to save, you want to save the changes. You'd say yes. Look at changing. I don't want to say I want to leave the picture the way it is, so I'm going to say no. And I'm going to press F10. That's the end of this tutorial.